Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to solve kinematics uh, problems quickly and easily using the physics mechanics solver program for the uh, T84 calculator. Kinematics is one of the main topics in physics, but the equations can be tricky to work with, especially when solving for different variables. This program makes it simple, fast, and accurate. We'll cover four problems step by step, demonstrating how this problem can handle each one with ease. Let's get started. So, this first one, oh, first I want to go to the kinematics. And then we're going to use this uh, equation, V equals VO plus AT. That's velocity final equals velocity initial, or velocity at zero, plus AT. We're going to be using that specifically today, or exclusively today. And then just keep in mind that whenever you're looking uh, for an equation to use, you want to make sure you have everything and that's included in here, in, including what you're looking for. So it let's, uh, for example, I'll give you this one. So starts at velocity of 10 meters per second. That's velocity initial, velocity zero. Accelerates for two meters per second. That's the A. For five seconds, that's the T. And then what's the final velocity? That's the V. So we need an equation with V, O, A, T, and V. And that's going to be that first one there. And then the cool thing is we can solve for anything we want. But in this case, we're going to be solving for V, the final velocity. And then it gives us the formula right there, V equals V sub zero plus AT. We're going to plug in all this information. Okay, so the VO we said was 10. And the cool thing is we just have to enter the numbers on the calculator program, not the units. The A is 2. And then the T is 5. Okay. And then so velocity final is 20 meters per second. Great. We got it right. Yes. This makes everything so much easier. Okay. Now for this next one. And it is going to be this uh, equation. Let's just see which what we're going to solve for. A sprinter finishes a run at velocity of uh, 8 meters per second. So that's V or VF as it might be in some textbooks. After accelerating at 4 meters per second for 2 seconds. So the A is 4 and then the T is 2 for 2 seconds. What's the sprinter's initial velocity? That would be called V sub O. So what we want to solve for is V sub O, which is great. It's option two here. And notice how the program rearranges the formula for you. So we've got V sub O equals V minus AT. Now we're just going to plug in the information we have. And that's why I like labeling everything, annotating it, uh, if you like. We're going to say V is 8. And then A is 4. And then the time is 2 for 2 seconds. And then, okay, velocity initial is zero. And just so you know, they'll say that's at rest or not moving or stationary sometimes. Those are some key words for velocity zero. Okay. For a third problem, let's see what we're going to be um, solving for. Again, we're going to be using kinematics and that first equation. We're going to increase velocity from 5 meters a second. Oh, that must be VO. And then to 25 meters a second. Oh, that's the velocity final, or we're just going to call it velocity here. 10 seconds is T. What's the acceleration? So now we're looking for three acceleration there. And it rearranges the formula for you, which is just fantastic. Okay. And then we're going to enter everything we have. So remember the V is 25. And the V initial, or V sub zero, is 5. And the time is 10 seconds. This is great. Okay, acceleration, 2 meters per second squared. Oh my gosh. This takes the guesswork out of rearranging equations. God, I really like it, don't you? I'd say gotta love it. Yeah, why not? Okay, um, now for the next one, it says a train decelerates from 30 meters per second. So that's our VO is 30. Um, acceleration, oh, oh, wait, sorry, to a stop. Oh, velocity final is zero. So that's zero. I just want to write that there. Um, acceleration is A is going to be negative 2 meters per second squared. How long does it take to stop? Well, guess what? We're solving for t. It's option four. And again, it rearranges the formula for you. This is just great. And what you do is really enter the values. Just as long as you label your values correctly, you should be really good to go with this program. So um, v, oh, excuse me, v is zero. Um, it's a velocity initial that was 30. Oh my goodness, I was about to enter that incorrectly. Um, acceleration is negative two. And then, okay, time is 15 seconds. That's great. Okay, just make sure you label your units and you should be good to go. As you've seen, the physics mechanics solver makes solving kinematics problems quick and accurate, taking the stress out of physics homework and test prep. So if you found this uh, program helpful, check out the link in the description to download it for your TI-84 calculator. You'll save time, avoid errors, and feel more confident um, tackling physics problems. 
So be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more TI-84 tips, and leave a comment if there's a topic you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching.